once in a while I like to show you guys what I'm working with. Whether um, it's like it's a setup tour, I've done I think two of those, you can go check them out on my channel. Or in this case it's going to be a tour of what's inside of my computer case. So it's going to give you guys an inside look at my computer, all the parts I'm running. All my unboxings are on my channel, but I have a lot of people like every day commenting, you know, on all my Hackintosh videos, you know, what processor do you have, what this do you have, what are your specs, and so even though I've listed them on my channel, a lot of people don't want to read, they just want to see a video that explains everything, so I figured, um, I just upgraded my graphics card, you can go ahead and check out that video right here, go ahead and click that, so um, like I was saying, uh, what better time than to take you guys on a tour of my case, um, now in my last video, when you got when I, you guys saw me upgrade my graphics card, you sort of got it like in, an, uh, in a view of what's inside my case, but um, this video is going to be a, you know in depth pointing out what everything is. So I hope this video isn't too long. But um, if you just want to see what's inside my system, you want to get something similar to this, will probably help you. So before I ramble, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I thought I'd start by giving you guys an overview of the case. So we'll come around here to the back, and as you can see, here's all my ports. That uh, we have those PS2 ports up there, pretty standard. We have um, I believe a digital video or a digital audio output. Uh, we have a, a composite video out, clear CMOS, which will clear all your BIOS settings. There's a bunch of different USB, a FireWire, FireWire 400. Uh, those two uh, USBs are USB 3. There's my Ethernet port and all my um, line in and line out. Here we have a 120 millimeter fan. Those two, are, those are for uh, water cooling, which I do not have, as you can see. Uh, moving down more, here's the back of my video card as well as my antenna. Um, but here we have two DVIs, HDMI, and mini display. Moving down here, uh, like I just said, my Wi-Fi antenna. And down further is my 650 watt power supply. So moving over here, as you can see, there's my CPU cooler in there. I'll be getting more into that in a second. There's a fan. And as you can see, of course, we're rocking the Apple sticker. And uh, moving up top, not too much to see here. Here's a little slide out hard drive bay. You could plug like a laptop hard drive or just pretty much any SATA hard drive in there. Very uh, convenient if you don't want to have to break out the SATA cables and the power and everything and you're inside your machine. Uh, moving up here is all my ports. This is uh, this controls the case light. Um, down here I have a blue light and a blue LED. So um, this button controls that. Here we have eSATA, USB 1. Here's line in or sorry, line out, line in, another USB. This is a reset switch, which I absolutely never use. And here's my power switch. So then moving over to the front, we have my one DVD drive. Not, I didn't go Blu-ray or anything. I didn't really think it was worth it yet. Uh, these are just open for expansion, but honestly, I really only need one drive. I don't ever really find myself needing more. Uh, down, you know, I had to put on my Core i7 sticker. You just had to. Uh, cooler master and uh, that's pretty much it. Alright so the side is on and it's now going to be coming off. So I have two thumb screws, one's right here, one, and the second one is here, two, and this all just comes right off. You just slide it and it drops down. The first thing you'll see is there's this cable here and that's for this case fan. So um, right in there, hopefully you can see that down here, that has to come out and it's as simple as just, you know, uh, pulling it out. It's really not in there too um, well, I guess you could say. So there it is, and now this whole thing can come right off. So here's the beast with the side off, and I guess I'll start down here and I'll work my way up. So um, like I said, this is my 650 watt power supply from Corsair about ninety dollars when I got it. I'd imagine it'd still be about that same price. Um, it's not modulated so I mean you do have all these extra cables in here that you don't need. One day I will get you know a modulated one that you know it only has the ports that you plug into it like only the ones that you need so you have no extra wires which is very nice but um, for a ninety dollar power supply it's a trusted brand very good so I highly recommend this power supply. It works. It powers everything here fine. I mean there's absolutely no shortage of power here. Uh, moving down here, these are all my hard drive bays. Only two of them are occupied. Uh, right here is a my uh, OS drive, which is 500 gigabytes. I have OS 10 and Windows installed on here right now. Never really use Windows. Uh, mostly just use OS 10, Lion, I should say. 
Um, this is my one terabyte. Oops, wrong one. This is my one terabyte drive. This is where all my backups go, all my music, all my videos. So if my OS crashes, I don't lose anything because it's constantly um, up to date. Um, these are just all empty. It's as simple as you know, just taking it, pulling it out, putting these um, little plastic screws in the sides of the hard drive, and then popping it in, and then plugging in the SATA from the other side. So these are very convenient. Uh, as you can see here, um, that's actually a fan. So on the front is a blue LED fan. And this fan keeps the hard drives ridiculously cool. I mean, it's not like liquid cooling, but for an air fan, I never see these go over 35 degrees Celsius. So that's very nice. Uh, back there, you can see all my SATA I have plugged in. The white slots here are 6 gigs a second. And these are 3. Here is my um, airport card. I've had loads of people ask me what kind of wireless card I use. It's a Dynex DXBG DTC. I know it's a kind of a lot to remember, but um, I just Googled it really, and I was, I was doing my research when I bought this machine, and um, a lot of people were saying, were asking about airport cards, because at the time I didn't have Ethernet in my room. I do now, and I don't really use this. I only use this, you know, if I need to. If for some reason, my Ethernet's not working. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I just Googled this card. I Googled around Hackintosh cards, and I found it works great out of the box with Lion and Snow Leopard and I have no tweaking to do and it just works. Moving over here, this is my graphics card. This is I just got this. You can watch my unboxing video. This is a Gigabyte AMD Radeon HD 6850. Uh, if you come down here, you can see the two fans. Pardon this power cable here. I can't really do too much about that. Um, but yeah, you can see the two fans here. These heat pipes and the heat sink. It does require one power draw, which is very nice for um, a one gigabyte GDDR5 card. Just to have one power draw is very cool. Um, if it required two, then 650 would be cutting it pretty close. But um, since it only does require one, this is absolutely fine. Absolutely great card. I have gotten it working with OS 10 great. Um, go ahead and, and watch my DisplayPort cable unboxing. That was the biggest problem with getting this to work with OS 10. However, I did install Windows just because I got this card. And it works great with Windows. Um, I still have yet to see what it can do. But in my Windows Experience Index or whatever it's called, they got, I believe, a 7.7 .7 out of 7.9. So it's definitely a great card. Moving up here, um, I guess I'll go with the big thing jumping out at you here. This is my very, very big CPU cooler. It's a Scythe Mugen 2 Revision B. Um, basically, it's a brick. Um, it's kind of hard to see here. But each one of these is a heat pipe. So leading up from the CPU, which is down there in the center, way down there, um, you have heat pipes that come up here, and this is all you know vented, as you can see back here. It's just you know like a big vent basically. And then this fan spins, blows all the air out, and then my case fan blows it out of the case. And I also have a fan up there, and I plan on getting one here pretty soon. So I will be getting some pretty cool airflow on the CPU. This is how I'm able to overclock. Right now I'm rocking 3.4 gigahertz instead of my 3.6 as usual. I just wanted to tone it down a little bit because my room does get very hot and so sometimes it reaches temperatures that I'm not really comfortable with. So um, 3.4 gigahertz is still pretty fast so that's pretty good for me. And underneath this obviously is my CPU. I have an Intel Core i7-930. Like I said, it was it's at 3.4 gigahertz. The stock speed is 2.8. Um, I believe 2.83 with the Intel Turbo Boost, but um, it definitely packs a punch. It's a great processor. I got it for I believe just over $300 on Newegg, which was about it was I believe in October of um, this past year. So I've had this almost a year now, running great. Um, not too much more I can say about it. It's a great chip. Definitely very great for Hackintoshes. Uh, moving back here, that's just one of the heat pipes on my motherboard. As you can see, this is just a metal pipe, this, which leads from North Bridge to South Bridge. And these are actually sort of like vents for cooling. So um, it does help keep the processor nice and cool, North and South Bridge. Um, the more fans you got, the, the cooler your case is going to be. That's pretty self-explanatory. Moving here, this is my RAM. Each one of these sticks is 2 gigabytes, so I have 6 slots. So that's a total of 12 gigabytes of memory. Um, definitely very nice to have. I have gotten very close to maxing this out though. Um, I've been using, I've been trying really to use Motion, try to really um, design a new intro and stuff like that. So between Motion and Final Cut, sometimes I have Parallels running, you know, Safari. I can use, I can get 
probably 10 to 11 gigabytes being used. So 12 is definitely a very nice number so, to have. A lot of people say that it's overkill, but really it's just about right for the things I do. So, yeah. Moving here, this is my optical drive. As you can see, it's just standard SATA. I got this for like 20 bucks on Newegg when I bought when I built my machine. It's a great deal. Very nice drive. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Um, as you can see here, I have my spaghetti of cables. That's what I'm saying about the modular power supply. If I had that, then a lot of the stuff wouldn't be here. I would have only what I need. So that'd be very nice. But as you can see here, I have expand room for a lot more expansion. I can have, I believe, four drives in here. So um, that'd be very cool. And this is all toolless. So if I were to just switch that from lock to open, then all I have to do is push it and it comes out. And if I click to lock, you'll hear it click. And it's in very secure I can push on it, it won't come out very very nice mechanism I absolutely love so this really case. that's pretty much it I can't really say too much more other than I love this computer the only upgrade really I've left to do that I really want to um, do eventually is a solid state you know I want to get maybe like a 60 to 128 gig solid state drive however um, I do want to go for more of like a 128 but um, those are about $500 right now, maybe three to $500, which is just crazy right now. So I figured I'll wait a couple more months to a year or so before I invest in one of those. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my CPU case. I'm at CPU Kit on Twitter. Go ahead and check me out there. And um, I'll just give you guys one last pan around my case. Uh, feel free to do a video response with your computer, even if it's like an older machine. You know, it's fun just to see how far we've come in the last five years. You know, just the specs now, this is like a pretty decent system. Back ten years, five, five, ten years ago, really, this was a dream system. I mean, people were dreaming of this stuff. You know, but now it's just, you know, standard consumer computer. So, um, like I said, let me know what you guys think uh, about my case. You know, if you have any questions about my parts. Like I said, all my parts in this machine, um, except main, pretty much the, the main components, are on my channel so go ahead and go to my channel there at the bottom on the left and go ahead and check them out so with that said thanks for watching